Lord Jesus. We ask this all in your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Blessed be his holy name. Amen. We're just so happy, happy to be here. Amen. Where tonight we're going to finish up the series, Think Like a Man of God. Amen. And also, we want to say that when you think like a man of God, you have to have strong faith. We have to have strong faith, family. And sometimes our faith wavers back and forth. But we have to stand on God's word. And we have to stand on what God has done for us in the past. Amen. When you first come to God, you have to have faith that God is. That God can transform your life. That God can take you to a higher level. You have to believe. And by you believing, your faith grows stronger. Amen. Bless his holy name. Now, tonight, I want to start in a chapter of Matthew 17. Verse 14, 22. I'm not going to read the whole uh, verse, but I'm going to start at verse 14. It's the healing of the boy with the demon. You see, when the crowd came, it was a man that approached Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy on my son. The man said he has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into fire, uh, fire and into water. I brought him to the, your disciples, but they could not heal him. Jesus said, oh, Unbelievers and perversion generation. Jesus replied, How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? This is what Jesus said. He said, Bring the boy over here to me. Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of the boy. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked him why we could not do it. Jesus replied, because you have little faith. He said, I tell you the truth. If you have little faith, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, move, and the mountain will move. Nothing will be impossible. This is what we have to do, family. We have to increase our faith. And being a man of God or being women of God, our faith is supposed to grow stronger and stronger daily. This is what God wants for us. Now we know there's, time, there's times that we struggle We struggle with our faith. And that's fine. But we always have to fall back on scripture and God's word. Amen. Sometimes it, it takes us being meditated on the word of God in order to get any kind of results. In order for us to go to the next level. This is what God wants for us. Our faith is being tested on a daily basis. God wants to know if you're going to withstand. This is why your faith is being tested, family. God wants to know are you going to stand with God or are you going to fall by the wayside? This is what God's saying. This is why it's so important for us to be obedient to the word. Not just to be hearers, but be doers of the word. Seek God. Be obedient. Read his word. Meditate on him day and night. 
This is why it is so, so important for us to have faith. And the only way that faith can grow is we have to feed it with the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let's turn to Romans 10, 17. It says, so then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. The scripture is self-explanatory, but faith comes by hearing and by the hearing. The word of God. You see, we can increase our faith by reading the word of God. You see, reading God's word is like a plant in a garden. And with that plant being in the garden, the only way for it to grow is you have to nurture it. You know, you have to feed it the word of God. You have to water it. Some people will read to the plant and make it grow. Some people sometimes trim, you know, you trim off the, the dead leaves so it could sprout up. This is what it takes sometimes for order for us to increase our faith in God. We have to read our Bibles daily. Not only on Sundays, but every day of the week. Sometimes it takes us going to the quiet place and get away from all the distractions that we have in order for us to get the word planted in us. Amen. This is what I'm talking about, family. This is the only way we can increase our faith in God. You see, the seed that you plant in the garden is God's word. And you know, God is a man that he shall not lie. So anything that he says in a living word of the Bible, He's going to do it. Amen. We just have to stand and believe on his word. Amen. It's going to increase our faith. You see, by us standing on his word, and by us being obedient to God, it helps us line up with God's plan for our lives. It helps us to see that there is going to be a eternal life for us. With God. It's going to help us know that anything that we want, we can have. You see, God gave us his power. But in order for us to have that power, it, it takes us to increase our faith in God. It takes us to believe in him on a daily. Amen. It was like, you know, me and my my wife was talking and we was talking about this season is not like the last season. Because with this season, we have increased our faith. This season that the things that we asked for in the last season is starting to manifest. It's starting to see results. Because our faith is growing stronger. And even with the distractions, even with the demonic spirits that roams this face of this earth, you have to have faith in God. Because at the end of the day, everything around us is going to perish. This is not our home, saints. We're working on inheriting the kingdom of God. This is what we're working on. But while we're here, the reason why we're supposed to be increasing our faith daily is because God is with us. God has never left us alone. God has been with us through the accident, through the, the diseases, through our bodies breaking down, through all the bad reports, 
God has never left us. He's always been here with us. God has purpose for our life. God has vision. We are supposed to be encouraged daily. And the only way we can get encouraged is by reading God's word and that's going to increase our faith. Amen. It's going to increase your faith so when the trials and the tests come, you can stand on God's word. It helps when the trials and, and, and tribulation comes, whereas you're not wavering, you're not going back and forth. You're standing on God's word. This is how we increase our faith. Amen. And it makes it where our faith is not stagnant. Our faith is supposed to grow daily, family. By being as God's word. By having us guide us. By us knowing that he's in control of all of this. It will increase our faith. This is what we have to stand on. Amen. Blessings be his holy name. Now, you see, we can meditate on God's word. This will help our faith grow. It will help our faith become stronger. But also, praying, praying daily, and being obedient to his word. This is the way we inherit the kingdom. Amen. Now, if we turn to John 1, 22, it says, do not merely listen to the word, so deceive your, yourselves. Do what the word says. This is what God saying. You see, the Bible tells us it's like a man who looked in a mirror. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. But after looking at yourself in the mirror, you look away and you forget what you look like. This is what we say, family. You have to be not only hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. You see, if we fail to heed what we read, and ignore what God is telling us, then our faith stays stagnant. And we want our faith to grow up daily, family. We want to believe in the word of God. Because by we believing in the word of God, it's going to help you get to the next level. It's going to help you where your faith is not wavering, going back and forth. You can stand on God's word. Amen. This is what God's telling us. By us being children of the most high, we can trust in his word. And we can stand with belief in his word. This is going to increase our faith daily. And this is going to make our walk with God so much, so much easier. Because, just think about the pains and tribulations that you go through is only going to last so long. Amen. But by you believing in God's word, you know that he's never left us. He's always been right here beside us. Family, you are in God's army. Yes, Lord. You can attain anything you want on the face of this planet. You just have to believe. Amen. You just have to believe. And you're not living in the same season that you was in before. Amen. This is a whole different season. Amen. So those reports that they had last season, it's a whole different season. You're healed now. You're blessed. Yes, Lord. You can go open that business. You can go write that book. You can go start that family. All the reports are good now. By you trusting and having faith in God. 
and you believing in God, it will increase your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bless his holy Thank name. Jesus. You see, when you have faith in God, you're a child of God. Amen. Therefore, you have to believe. In order for our faith to grow and increase, we have to read our word daily. We have to pray daily. We have to seek God daily. Yes, Lord. You have to put yourself around faith-based people who have the same passion for God as you do. Just that way you grow stronger. You grow stronger in his word. Yes, Lord. And you know that you're not in the situation by yourself. There's people who love God just like you do. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Now watch this. Let's turn to Malachi 3.9. Now see, before I read the scripture, we live in a time whereas there's a lot of demonic spirit. There's a lot of curses on the face of this planet that needs to be broken. And in order for us to break those ties with those generation curses, we have to increase our faith in God. Amen. Whatever you need to do, whether it's praying, fasting, whether it's, it's going to the quiet place, so whether you get away from the distractions, anything that you need to do, you have to do it in order to increase your faith in God. Yes, Lord. Now watch this. Let's turn to Medici 3.9. It says, you are under a curse, the whole nation of you, because you are robbing God. Bring the whole tithes into the storehouse. Therefore, they may be food in my house. Test me in this, said the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw you out the floodgates of heaven and pour you out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. This is what God is saying, family. Amen. Whatever you need to do it, whether you need to tie soul into a ministry or, 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 or do whatever, go to the choir place, pray, be with somebody that's that's like-minded like you are, that loves God. Amen. You have to do it or increase your faith. Amen. We have to get away from the negativity, family. way we can increase our faith. That way when the storms and the trials come, we have God's word to stand on. Yes, Lord. We have his belief. We have his power. God knew you in the womb. Yes, We're Lord. made in God's image. Yes, we are. But we have to have faith, family. Our faith cannot waver back and forth. Amen. We have to stand on his word. This is what God said, family. You see, tithing and being a good steward over what God gives you Amen. will increase your faith. I can't tell you how many times, family, that I've been in situations where I, asked, I was asking God, why, 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 why me? And God was saying, go ahead. Do a seed off. Go ahead. Tie the put your ties over here. And then when God said that, I got my breakthrough. When God said that my body was healed. When God said that there was a, a check in the bank for me the next day. When God said that my car was fixed. When God said that I had the house over here that I was always wanting. When God said that, it increased my faith, family. And it's not, a, it's not about things and anything like that. It's about you have to do whatever increases your faith. Amen. If you need a breakthrough, sow a seed. Amen. Amen. This is what being obedient to the word means. You are a child of God. God don't want you to stay standing 
uh, stagnant at the same place. He wants your faith to grow. He wants you to believe in him on a daily. If you ask asking God for a job promotion, it's going to happen. Just stand on his word, family. He's a man that he's showing out lie. This is what God says. It's in his word. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Now, there's situations that we go in, whereas, like I said, we have to be doers of the word and not just hearers. So, when the Holy Spirit is speaking, we have to be doers. When the Holy Spirit says, uh, turn that TV on, I need you to pray right now. We have to be doers of the word. You see, by us being doers of the word, it increased our faith. Amen. By us studying the, the characters in the Bible, it increased our faith. By us being surrounded by passionate people of God, it increased our faith. By us listening to other people's testimonies and how God brought them out of the situation, it increased our faith. By us remembering what God has done for us in the past. This is increased, it increase our faith, family. By us replacing fear and worry with God's word, it increased our faith. Amen. By us holding on to God, promising word, it increases our faith. Amen. By us giving back to God. Whether it be tidy, whether it be with our time, with us, with it, with us being, you know, going to the quiet place, by us being alone with God, this is what increases our faith. This is what we have to do, and most important, we have to know that God is in control. No matter what's going over in Russia, no matter what's going over in UK on Capitol Hill, whatever. God is always in a control family. We have to stand on this word. Amen. Amen. Bless his holy name. This is what increases our faith. And it increases our faith daily. And we always have to believe in God. Amen. God has never left us alone. He's right here beside us. Amen. 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 There's been times in my life whereas I always used to struggle back and forth. This is before I got saved, family. And I always said to myself, I said, God, if you're real, show me a sign. Show, show me a sign that you exist in all of us. And there's been situations that I had been in. And I always say it was God that brought me out of that situation. So at the time that I'm asking God to show me a sign, God is, he's always been there with, right beside me. I had a story of, of when I was younger, I think I was like eight or nine. And you know, I always had this thing of walking around with quarters and nickels in my mouth. And one day, I accidentally swallowed one. And I was choking. And my mom was like, can you spit it out? Can you spit it out? And, and, and everything, and they was trying everything to get it out. And all of a sudden, I, 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 I felt like I... I bumped myself up against the wall and, the, and the, the, the nickel dislodged from my throat and I spit it out. And didn't know why he touched me. And I, I said, man, how did this happen? That was God, people. Hallelujah. There were situations that we've been in yeah. where it's hard for us to explain. Whereas you know that it had to be God. It had to be somebody else because nobody else touched me. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That means that God brought you out of that situation. He showed you supernatural blessings. Hallelujah. He showed you supernatural that he is this. You have to believe in him. And God brought you out of that accident. And God brought you through that surgery. Yes, Lord. Where they're saying that a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, he would have been out of here. God. And God brought you out of any situation like that. Hallelujah. You have to believe in him. God has purpose for your life. Yes, he does. Come on. God wants you to be transformed. Yes, Lord. God wants you to be anchored in his love. He wants to, you to live a blessed life. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. This is what we're talking about, family. We need God like Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Not at this time. Anybody that wants to get in life to God, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and ask you to come into my life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, as you said that prayer, you are a new person in Christ. Yes, Lord. I invite you to get into a